before the holiday season overwhelms us. How about buying yourself a present? Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. Right now, for one week only, you can get two reports for $52. Two for $52. That's almost $18 off the normal price. So buy yourself a gift that keeps on giving at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Your Majesty. Welcome now to Wednesday. Thanks for logging into the garden. Cloudy Pence, a chance of some mind games today for the royalty of the Zodiac. The universe is kind of pushing us in a couple of areas. Let's start with the sun. We are in Chapter 1 of Sun and Sagittarius. Mars is ruling the day that's aggressive masculine energy. That energy is here to help us step out of Chapter 1 thinking when it relates to your heart chakra. That's what you're working on, honoring your heart chakra, connecting to your heart. What does your heart really want? So today is the day of stepping out of whatever prevents you from your heart getting what it wants. And that could be your job, your love relationship, certain bad habits, your own attitude to yourself, lots of things that keep you from living in your heart. So let's step out of that situation. And if you find yourself really out of patience or really amped up today, you're probably procrastinating, which is why the energy is building. Now, adding to today's lesson is the moon. The moon is in Libra today. So emotions trigger thoughts, thoughts trigger emotions. This is the setup for a mind game, all right? So the universe is going to have you step out of your old ways with your inner child and not get sucked into a mind game. But you probably will get sucked in in order to unsuck, okay, <laughs> so to speak. So as the moon crosses Saturn, it's time to grow up. It's time to mature. Saturn is a disciplinarian vibration. You must be more disciplined with your emotions, how your emotions react. It doesn't serve you to worry. It doesn't serve you to be anxious. It doesn't serve you to think of all times that you failed in the past. It doesn't serve you. It's not a good management of your consciousness. All right? And if you find yourself obsessing, or if you find yourself worrying that leads to obsession, that's not serving you. All right? At the end of the day, there is tons of spiritual energy wasted thinking about stuff we can't change, worrying about stuff we can't change. So you're going to have to stand back and manage your own consciousness and be like, hey, this doesn't serve me, this doesn't get me anywhere, this doesn't make it easier, and just be a grown-up about it. That's what Saturn is encouraging. And Mercury has you also starting to think and obsess about your lifestyle and your health and your body. Now, this is just information coming in. Lifestyle, health, body, it's just information. It's not lesson yet. It's just information, okay? So take the email, read it, and let it go. Mercury says, hey, by the way, we're also having issues with uh, not eating enough. Thanks for the email. That's it. Just take the information. Don't obsess. Don't use that as fuel to mind games because it's just reporting back. You're going to do a lot of thinking and processing about your lifestyle in December. Mercury will go retrograde December 11th to December 30th, then it goes direct again. The universe is going to have you work and look and work and look. It's going back and forth over Pluto. Plenty of time for that. Just take the message and write it down. Now it's Wednesday. Here with message is Skip Jennings. He's got three hot topics to bring out to you. One is the fresh ideas, sources of fresh ideas. Sometimes we're stuck and freaking out because we don't have a fresh idea, a new idea. Sometimes it comes down to being optimistic. Let's assume things will work. That's a lot easier than assuming it won't. And abundance. You're never going to draw an abundance if you're using all of your spiritual energy going back and forth in your mind or emotional games. So Skip is here to coach you with an optimistic affirmation out of that booby trap. He's live everywhere, Soul Garden streams. Tonight, no DJ David Palmer. He is gone for one more week, but returns in a week from now. And tomorrow, we do start Chapter 2 of Sun and Sag. Until then, live, love, be. So